that signal numbers 1 to 5 for tropical cyclones are based on wind and not rainfall? For instance, people tend to anticipate rain. Nasaan ang ulan is signal number 2. This is the reason why the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, changed what these signals are called. From tropical cyclone warning signals, they became tropical cyclone wind signals in 2019. The shift from the term that we previously used is to give emphasis that the impacts that you can experience in your locality are brought by strong winds, not rain, of an approaching tropical cyclone. For signal number one, tropical depression, expect winds of 30 to 60 km per hour in at least 36 hours. No damage to very light damage. Some house of very light materials may be partially uprooted. Twigs and branches of small trees may be broken. Rice crops in flowering stage are significantly damaged. Banana plants are tilted, and no classes in kindergarten. So, ano ang dapat natin gawin kapag anjan ang wind signal number one at itinaas na sa ating lokalidad? Inspect your house if necessary repair or fixing is needed. Clean up drainage system. Harvest crops that can be yielded. Monitor the latest severe weather bulletin issued by Pagasa every six hours and early updates. Ang wind signal number two ay tinatawag ring tropical storm. Sa signal number two, Asahan na ang lakas ng hangin ay 61 to 120 kilometers per hour. Maaari na ito makabali ng mga puno ng saging at makapagpatagilid ng mga lumang poste at mabaklas ang mga lumang yerong bubong. No classes in elementary and high school. So ano ang gagawin natin kapag itinaas na ang wind signal number 2 sa ating lokalidad? Prepare flashlights, batteries, matches, candles in, prep, in anticipation of power failure. Prepare first aid kit and store ready-to-eat foods. Keep your cell phones fully charged. Elevate household things in case of flooding. At bilang pag-iingat, the general public, especially people traveling by sea and air, are cautioned to avoid unnecessary risks. Outdoor activities of children should be postponed. Secure properties before the signal is upgraded. Wind signal number three is also called severe tropical storm. When wind signal number 3 is raised in your locality, expect 121 to 170 kilometers per hour of winds in at least 18 hours. Moderate and heavy damage, especially to high-risk structures, house of light materials, old houses, and medium-strength materials are unrooted. There may be widespread disruption of electrical power and communication services. No classes in all levels. What do we do 
when severe tropical storm is raised in our locality. If the house is not strong enough to withstand the battering of strong winds, go to designated evacuation center and or seek shelter in stronger houses. Stay in safe houses until after the disturbances has left the area. Evacuate from low-lying area and river banks and stay away from coastal areas for possible flooding and storm surge. All travel and outdoor activities should be cancelled. And watch out for the passage of the eye wall and the eye of the typhoon. Tropical cyclone wind signal number four is also called typhoon. Kapag ang signal number four ay itinaas sa iyong lokalidad, expect winds of 171 to 220 kilometers per hour in at least 12 hours and expect heavy and very heavy damage, especially to medium and high risk structures. Banana plants are totally damaged, large trees are broken or uprooted, coconut, rice, and corn plantations suffer severe losses, and electrical power distribution and communication services may be severely disrupted. So again, what do we do when wind signal number four is raised in our place? Go to designated evacuation center. Seek shelter in stronger houses. Stay in safe houses until after the disturbances has left the area. Again, evacuate from low-lying area and river banks and stay away from coastal areas for possible flooding and storm surge. All travel and outdoor activities should be cancelled and watch out for the passage of the eye of the typhoon. Ang wind signal number 5 ay kilala rin sa tawag na super typhoon. So when super typhoon hits our place, we expect more than 220 kilometers per hour of winds in at least 12 hours. And there is a very heavy and widespread damage. This is something phenomenal. Heavy damage to all structures, complete roof, window, and door damage to residences and industrial buildings. Electrical power distribution and communication services are severely disrupted. And there is total damage to plantations. Most tall trees are broken and few plants can survive. What do we do when Super Typhoon hits us? Stay in safe houses or evacuation centers. All travels and outdoor activities should be canceled. Regularly monitor your radio and television for calamity news update. And prepare enough candles, rechargeable lamps, and flashlights for possible brownouts. Evacuate if you are from near the river, waterways, or mountain sides to prevent flash floods and landslides. Store enough food, water, and first aid kit. and prepare a list of emergency hotlines. We don't raise a wind signal only when the hazard brought by a tropical cyclone is already there. That's the essence of providing a warning. We prepare in advance. Mm -hmm.